Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos for, let me back you guys up a little. We're a little too close. Okay. It's going to be a reading for my Virgos for October 20th through the 22nd. Thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel if you are returning. And if you are new, welcome. And this is going to be a 72 hour forecast. So Definitely keep in mind this is general. Everything I say may or may not pertain to you specifically. So use a level of discernment when watching this. And if you do want a personal reading, that information will be listed below. So Virgos for October 20th through the 22nd. Virgos. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I do want to talk about is the overall energy. So what we have representing that, we have the angel of strength and the seven of coins, okay? So for a lot of my Virgos, I am getting a sense that you guys are really trying to keep it together for the next couple of days. Um, this could be because like there's certain things that are like testing your patience. You could be like, okay, why is this person trying to mess with me? Um, why is this person trying to get under my skin? This could be in the work field. This could be in family. This could even be in love, whatever, whatever area in life you're getting tested at. Okay. For a lot of you as well, this could also be a sense of you trying to stay also determined in your career field or whatever you're trying to do as far as like achieving and goals for others of you this could even be trying to stay determined when you're in school or something of that sort if you if you are in school but with the seven of coins you guys are very much trying to evaluate what you've been doing up to this point exactly or mainly to do with finances for a lot of you this is like looking at okay what have I got out of the work that I've done so far? Where am I headed? Like really just evaluating where you're at. And with the star card, this is also you guys, like I said, staying determined, having that faith and that belief that you guys will get to where you need to go, especially in your career, in your goals and whatnot. Okay. Also for some of you, this could be evaluating a relationship you may have with an Aquarius where again, there may be some defensive energy or... Again, there may be things that test your relationship at times. It doesn't have to be with an Aquarius. This could just be with someone where, again, there's a lot of healing that needs to take place. Or, again, like I said, you're trying to remain hopeful and faithful in this relationship. Now, when it comes to your love life in general, we do have adjacent possibilities in the Five of Swords. So for a lot of you, you could be having a lot of opportunities open up for you in the love field. This could be people trying to come back from the past trying to talk to you this could be new people um for some of you if you are single and you haven't been talking to anybody the universe is saying open yourself up because if you actually did there will be so many opportunities for you to find someone um but with the five of swords for some of you you could have went through like a very manipulative situation with someone at one point and that could be affecting you to this day or for others of you this is like you playing tr mind tricks on yourself to where you don't believe that you can actually find someone in a love sense, okay? That's for some of you. But moving forward, let's actually talk about your money. We do have walking away and we do have the tower. So for some of you, you really just aren't here for some sort of career um, that you may feel like is your day job and you may be somebody who's wanting to do more entrepreneurial work and it's like, look, I'm tired of this nine to five. I want to go ahead and do something else. For others of you, this could be you, again, trying to walk away from any sort of job that can't support you in a financial sense or anything um, pertaining to your job that's like messing you up. This could be like a bad contract. This could be... Um, 
again, like bad business with like people you may work with. You may have certain regrets when it comes to like the, the people you may have worked with. But again, um, this is definitely you walking away from things in your career, especially like financially, you could be walking away from bad habits that have been destroying you. Um, like going out too much and partying. Um, this could even be, you have a regrets for going out to a party and spending too much money. Okay. It's going to be different for everybody. But when it comes to the advice, we do have the all tied up card and the Knight of Cups. So for a lot of you, you do need to realize that you're not restricted. There, there isn't a need for you to think like you have no control over your circumstance right now in any sense, okay? You do have control over it and there's just a need for you to look at more opportunities for yourself in a financial sense and if this is love, this is putting yourself out there but also sorting out your feelings as well for someone who you may want to deal with, okay? And figuring out if you want to get back with this person or not or what's your final decision on this. And for some of you, you know what your final decision is but you need to move forward from that let that be now when it comes to the obstacle that may come up we have the goddess of the moon and the ten of cups so this could be you being in a space of not knowing what the hell's going on with somebody who you have a family situation with um this could even be as well you not being in a space of knowing what exactly will make you happy um like complete you in an emotional sense Again, um, for a lot of you, this is more of you not knowing what the hell is going on with the family situation. You're waiting for some things to turn over secretly. And you're really trying to use your intuition when it comes to this. Because you really just don't know. But moving forward, let's talk a little bit about your love life. The card that we have to represent it for the next couple of days, we do have passion. And with this... For a lot of you, again, this is someone who you feel very passionate about. There may be a lot of sexual energy there. Um, you guys may be very sexually attracted to each other. And you really want this person in your life. Or again, this person feels very sexually attracted to you. And they want you in their life. Um, but again, there's still some things that need to be worked out in the relationship. And a lot of you are trying to stay optimistic when it comes to this. Because you guys truly love each other. You guys both really love each other. So, very interesting. Now, when it comes to the guidance, I do have, it says surrender, and it says at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. And this is literally what I was saying the whole entire reading. I'm not going to go through that whole spiel again, but um, definitely just surrender the outcome to the universe and understand things will work out for the best. Now, for the last card, this is going to talk more about money manifestation and like law of attraction work. What we have representing that we do have, I have control over my thoughts that I think. And I pulled the same card for Capricorns literally before this reading. So it's so weird. So this card says, since you have control over what thoughts you offer, what could be more just than the powerful law of attraction responding equally to everyone who offers a vibration once you gain control over the thoughts you think, your sense of injustice will subside and will be replaced with the exuberance for life and the zest to create that you were born with. Let everything in the universe be an example to you of the way the laws of the universe work. So redirect your thoughts. Make sure you guys are not directing your thoughts into a, a space of, okay, this is, this is trash. I hate this. I hate that. Or just focusing on the negative, focusing on the negative and not allowing yourself to see the positive in all situations. And that will unlock a lot of opportunities for yourself. That will unlock also you being able to see the truth in situations as well. Because instead of you always focusing on the negative and focusing on the positive in ways that you can correct the negative, if it is correctable, you're unlocking a different vibration in itself. So that's going to be it. Thank you so much, Virgos, for watching this. I hope that you guys did enjoy this reading. If you did, please make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And again, if you do want a personal reading with me, definitely make sure you check out the information in my description box. That information will be listed there for you. And I will see each and every one of you in 
the next one. Also, for some of you, you guys have been asking me about the uh, 25 question, 25 questions, the five questions for $25. Um, that sale does end or I think it ended already. So um, I'm sorry if anybody didn't get to catch it, but definitely make sure you look at my site. There is other sales that are available. So make sure you guys check that out. Alrighty, I'm going to stop talking. I'll see you later. Bye.